All right, so what basically they were doing or told me to do is cut celery. The first things I was doing was um, roast some burritos. So those are the that was the first thing I had to do today. And then they put me to just basically cut, you know, fine dice some celery. You know, they were going to be using that for. Uh, tuna sandwiches and other things so those are the two things that I was doing today in my volunteer hours so what time did I get there well my shift kind of started at around 6 and it ended, until, ended until 10 so I could have at least an hour to like eat breakfast or take a break because after that I had the class at 11 so I have biochem at 11 so every time I'm gonna be doing my volunteer hours will be probably every Mondays Fridays some other days I'm not sure but um, at least I want to get eight hours a day or not eight hours a day eight hours a week um, so I can finish in about let's see so we need 40 hours so that's eight a week so that's probably gonna be like around five five weeks or something like that five and six is six ish weeks so those are the two things you know those are the things I need to do one one thing because it is part of my grade for a class that is called institutional food service so if you are watching this video and you are a deciding or you are actually majoring in nutritional science, maybe here in Cal State LA or some other school, or you're still in high school seeing this video perhaps, and you are interested in dietetics, you know, what kind of classes that you have to take, you know, how much math that you need to, that you need to have, the science classes that you need to take, you know. Once you get over those science classes, basically, it starts being okay. You know, the classes are, you know, some, there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of, uh, it's a writing, most of the classes, classes that I've been taking so far have been writing intensive. So there's a lot of writing involved in many of these um, nutrition classes um, because it starts to prepare you for, um, Basically, if you're going into, maybe you're deciding to go into research, or it's basically preparing you for what's to come, basically. So all these classes that you're taking, if you are majoring in nutrition, or like me, I'm majoring in nutrition, these are the type of classes I have to take. And you need to have hours. You know because those hours will be counted towards your final the total hours that you need to become a registered dietitian so this is just, this is just a preparation of what's to come basically um, so I'm not gonna get into too much detail about that but if you want if you want to I can get into more detail maybe post a video on the requirements of how to get into a, a university or into a program that has nutrition you know to become an RD RDN you know maybe I'll do that who knows but those are just the things that I've, um, just one of the few things that you have to do so um, so yeah and I will see you guys later on in this vlog right now I am heading home I'm on the 5 freeway passing by the 605 traffic it's okay but you know at the same time it's not not the best but yeah yeah peace